Billy Dyson V11 is now getting on for five months old. And it's a bit dirty now. You know, I've emptied it recently, but I haven't really cleaned it. As you can see, that the brush roll isn't looking particularly lovely either. I think it's time that we get this little bit of maintenance. Should we have a V11 update slash maintenance video? I'll go and get another vacuum cleaner and a cloth and a little bit of spray just to pep things up. And we'll take this apart and see what it looks like now. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, the V11 is, I don't use it as much as I should really at the minute, I've got so many other fun vacuum cleaners on the go that it is getting a little bit neglected but it does get used, as you can tell, and I haven't honestly done any more than empty this for months. Ew. Now I know, that, yeah, I think that there's that's where I've done the back mat when <laughs> it's not been completely lovely. So we just have a look at that. Notice this recently. If I put that flat on the floor, there's a lot of visible slop now in that joint, which isn't fantastic. It's it's already starting to wear. Not well, not not wear, but you can see pressure marks so obviously this has to come out every time you want to empty the flipping thing every time you know what this bottom joint is like see that's rigid it's just where it enters the machine I mean let's put the crevice tool on yeah that that does it a lot it's just the fitting here oh gosh yes look you can see I mean that's that, that's that's nothing bad I'll be honest and it probably helps that the tools click in so it doesn't actually matter how wobbly it is in principle but yeah it's it it's a thing first thing i'm going to do we'll concentrate on the main machine before we do the tools is take off the filter primarily because i don't want to turn on when i empty it which i do do by accident because obviously you pull the trigger and then all the internal dust does fly onto the filter which isn't looking too bad i suppose it's about a month or so of use. So if I fire up the trusty, as you know, current vacuum of the month, the Electrolux 345, to save me A, having to get a rubbish bag out to empty it, B, so it makes 12 vacuums in 12 months fair, really. The only problem I'm noticing with me constantly vacuuming it off is that it is starting to shed a bit of fluff. So, it's all, it, so yeah, I wouldn't, I mean, I suppose if you pick it all off, you wouldn't notice. So, it's a bit hard for me to directly say you must definitely do this because, yeah, I can't deny it is shedding a bit. But the alternative is I'll have to wash this and it would literally be month, not month, days, a day before. It was dry. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is empty it. And what I've also noticed is it's now noticeably stiffer to release that bit. It still does it, but... Whereas it did used to just be able to flick it with your thumb all the time. It takes a few goes now. Oh, let's remove that and... Uh, this isn't a machine that you can just you know, pull the trigger and not care about. You do have to put a little bit of maintenance into it, which you should do on every vacuum cleaner, really. So I've just got just a little bit of general purpose spray. It's not going to rot the plastic. 
all the rubber seals or anything and I've just done a spray just on a cloth just to get the dust off because again the problem with Dyson's is that they're very static and the dust in the air clings to them outside and inside and makes them look terrible it's, it is purely and simply that they just look not great I'm also noticing how cloudy the bin's getting although you know I mean I suppose I'm I am using it daily, but yeah, the bin's quite cloudy. Again, just makes it look a little bit tatty already. The bottom seals are doing a Dyson. It's a problem with Dysons, they rely so much on you know, a pin perfect seal in between everything that as soon as that doesn't happen, that's when you start to do suction. So that is now clean. That is literally, that is where it's going cloudy. So obviously all the dirt spins around and then when you move it, the dirt goes up and down as well. In here isn't horrific, really. But we'll give it a dust off. Because it doesn't hurt it at all. Not a bother. Just give it a nice wipe down again with just a fairly damp cloth. You're not looking for water here. And we can look at the rest of it and unfortunately where it has a complete inability to stand up on hard floor, which is what I've got, it has taken a few slides. Yeah. With 600 pound Dyson, which I still have a few payments left on, isn't, you know, it, it's just looking like a Dyson. The problem when you paint plastic, it just chips off. But that's life. If I wanted it kept pristine, I'd have left it in this box, I suppose. That's better. So, that is that bit done. Now let's start to move on to the tools. And we'll start with the Daily Driver High Torque Head. This is the High Torque Head that I had as a replacement. I am now wishing I had... Uh, oh. Whee, my keys, because I have a bottle opener on that is perfect for opening this. Because you have to twist that past where you think it should go so it pops up oh wow so again you see everybody you thought I sabotaged my first head that is packed I don't use this for big mess cleanups you know it gets used to clean a messy front room but not big messy cleanups the top seal it's a bit deformed but I say absolutely totally fine brush roll is doing very well the black strip seems to be excellent on the v10 and v11 fair bit of lint around there but that's very easy because obviously you can pull the end cap off and notice all the dirt building up inside and simply pull that off that'll be for this that'll be for me cleaning this test carpet it will yeah that's that's doing absolutely fine. Let's try and get rid of all this fine dust. Which we can do with these. Next we'll spray a little bit more on here now. Yeah, this is, there's no excuse for this folks. This is dirty floors through and through. Obviously I've got the kids running in and out, I'm a completely lazy git. But this hasn't been used in any of the, you know, big mess, not that I've done any big mess tests, but the big demos, you know, the Turbo Master, Kids, 
wasn't used for any of that. This has just solely been used here. I've taken it down to my mum's. I've, you know, I've, I've taken it two places, but not for anything more than you would do at home, really. So, yeah, this is my fault, really. But, say, this is all it takes. It's just, it's falling off. It really is revealing where the wear is starting to happen. And I knew this would happen because the bit that's wearing is ever so slightly raised. I'm trying to find the best angle for you. It's on those flanges anyway. The end bits. Now I'm looking at this and I was hoping to give this a good clean. But I can't get to it. Because... The motor's in the way, which is a bit annoying, really. I mean, I suppose if I do two sprays on that, I mean, yeah, yes, you're not going to be cleaning your brush roll lots, but if you want to, you've got no chance. I mean, I can't get any pressure on that at all. That's a big shame. Now, I know how I could do it, because you take this top off, and that bit pops off. And you can get to it. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to frankly be accused of breaking another head like I was before. You know, I've had I've had people make videos about how I broke it. I had completely legit slanderous comments made about me breaking my own head after the process of illumination proved it. So I'm not doing that. But obviously we can have a look at this one. This one is the one that I've used a lot, and that's why it's disgusting. This is now what gets used for the demo videos, the versus videos. And I haven't cleaned I haven't cleaned this since I did Wiz Kids. Ugh. It does come off. If your Dyson actually this is a bit of a hack for them. If your Dyson is a bit difficult to push on your carpet, any Dyson, check this because it does make it rippy. I'm just going to leave that there, frankly, because this, this doesn't have to be mint, because this is the head that I use. I might clean it a bit more off camera. This is the head that I use for the, the dirty jobs, really. Yeah, as dirty as I put my V11 through. Let's have a look at its brush roll. This shouldn't be too bad. As I say, it hasn't seen much use, and the use it's had, as you remember, didn't have any extra dirt put down. Pull it out. And it's fine. Again, it's fluffing itself up nicely inside. But on the whole, the head is fine. The seal is fine. Yeah, it's just fine. So, we'll call that done because I can say this is just... I've, I must clean the base paint properly, but that's just a spare. Now, onto the fluffy head, which I use quite a lot. Obviously having hard floor throughout my house and it's I don't I'm hoping most of that will wipe off. Let's have a look. This cloth is already damp. It should just be where it's picked up dirt. Yeah, that, that wipes straight off, although you wouldn't want to leave it too long before doing this. There we are. So open this up. We do this clip, I think. Ah, and then lift this up and off this goes. Revealing the bearing side of the Dyson fluffy head. We can then remove the brush roll, which looks like that. Revealing the innards, which basically works exactly the same. As the other one, like again, you just can't, you can get a little bit more in. So I can clean one side, but not the other. This just fell out. This is the rear roller that stops it kicking back as much as it can. As we know, it's not perfect, but it does what it can. 
it does and that just sits in there this goes back on there and that should there we go click in like that so that's doing very well it's it's just it's covered in dust in general really but you yeah. know Doing a good job. What I have noticed on all of these tools is how dirty that flat gets. There. <laughs> they just get covered in filth. Then the other tool left to do is this, which is actually quite dirty. That's from the sofa. That's what I do under the cushions on the sofa, which the V11 is utterly fantastic at. It's possibly the bit I love about it the most is putting this turbo head on. And it, it just turns into a beast. It really does. Oh, I'm not going to clean that. This brush roll does like to hold the fibres. We're not going to get it mint. I'll be honest. Oh, this is. I'm already getting wear marks on the head. In fact, oh, look at that. This tool kicks off a staggering amount of dirt. Doesn't get it all sadly first time, but it is a good head. There is no denying how much of a good head this has. Oh, uh, so and that's it, really. That is, you know, we've just spent 10 15 minutes. Well, I had to do this for a couple of months now. You literally can just carry on as you were. And it now looks dirty again but there we go literally just a little update video to show you how my little Dyson is doing what you could expect from one if you used it normally and didn't treat it with kid gloves they do get dirty every Dyson every bagless does even a bag machine with a terrible bag Oh, I've chipped my wand as well. Wonder how I did that. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, there we are. Still a perfectly brilliant machine. I do like it. It does really show how far cordless technology has come. This is not perfect by any means, but you know, if you need a cordless that will do very well, it, I. As of now, I haven't found anything that I could say is better than this, from my experience. It, 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 it has its flaws, but it's still better than any other cordless cleaner on the market that I have tried. And as you know, I haven't tried many, but I know a lot about stuff. So there we go, ready to rock and roll for a bit longer. I hope this has helped you. If you have a cordless Dyson, please clean it. Hopefully you have another vacuum cleaner. Otherwise, you've got to airline it out or other such stuff. Or just give it an extra tap on the bin when you empty it. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. And I, and me Dyson, will see you soon. Bye bye.